What is up everyone, Ryan here again, this time coming at you with the final installment, part 3 of my video series on rooting your Android phone. If you missed the first two videos, be sure to check them out, as they cover some of the basics and background information, as well as how to go about rooting the Droid Incredible, the phone I'm using in this demo. As I mentioned before, this video is purely informational, and if you decide to root your own phone using the information provided, I do not take responsibility if something goes wrong. Please use this video as a resource, but conduct more research before trying to root your phone yourself. So now for the grand finale, installing a ROM onto your phone. Fortunately, if you watched how to root your phone from the previous video, the process of installing a ROM is not nearly as difficult. After you get signed back into your Google account on your phone in the Play Store, you can go ahead and download ROM Manager. This app requires you to have rooted your phone as it works with the Clockwork Mod Recovery, all of which was covered in the previous video, so go ahead and check that out. Once in the app, you will need to allow super user permissions, again, something we installed in the previous video. Then you'll be able to shop around for custom ROMs. Here you can find featured, premium, and free ROMs. I'll be focusing on the free category as I'm going to be using the latest stable version of Cyanogen Mod, compatible with my Droid Incredible. You could also check out the less stable Cyanogen Mod Nightlies, but that's not really recommended for someone who wants a reliable operating system. If you wanted to use a ROM not included in ROM Manager, like AOKP for example, you could always install a ROM you downloaded to the SD card. But as I mentioned, I will be using the ever popular Cyanogen Mod version 7.1. Although CM9 is available and CM10 should be soon released, 7.1 works the best with the Droid Incredible. So after tapping download, check Google Apps, as this will allow you to keep all the apps from Google while getting rid of any bloatware factory installed applications. Then, go ahead and let that download and install. Once it's finished, your phone will reboot into Cyanogen Mod. Then you can go ahead, set up all your preferences, and you're good to go. So there it is. You've made it all the way through all three videos, and you have now rooted your Droid Incredible with a custom ROM installed. So I've been using the rooted phone for a little over a week, mainly as a streaming music player, and I have not had too many issues other than getting used to Cyanogen Mod 7. If you have any questions or comments regarding the process of rooting your phone or installing custom ROMs, feel free to leave a comment and I'll always try to help out. A big thanks to those of you who watched the entire three-part series, and as always, I thank you guys for watching, and I look forward to talking to you next time. See ya!